Let us bring our attention to the photos to my right. What are we looking at? We are looking at, at one mouse brain getting adequate supply of the amino acid L-serine. The other one, not so much. That difference, visually, is what garnered the attention of researchers in reference to L-serine in Alzheimer's disease and the potential, keep in mind this is an animal model so it has to be validated in humans, the potential of being a treatment to restore memories in Alzheimer's disease itself as a nutritional supplement, but to proceed as follows. Also, as a side note, L-serine also had breakthrough research this week come out in reference to ALS, another animal model. I only have time to cover one this week, so we're gonna look at the Alzheimer's disease first, but I wanna cover the links in the video towards the end of this video in particular itself. So you can follow the links to that as well, but L-serine had a, basically a banner week. To proceed as follows, Alzheimer's disease can an amino acid help to restore memories. Researchers have just shown that a metabolic pathway plays a determining role in Alzheimer's disease memory problems. This work just published also shows that supplying a specific amino acid as a nutritional supplement in a mouse model of Alzheimer's restores spatial memory affected early. This is a promising path for reducing memory loss related to that disease. To proceed, the brain uses a large part of the energy available to our body to work properly. Neurons in the surrounding cells, particularly astrocytes, must cooperate. The early phase of Alzheimer's disease is characterized by a reduction in this energy metabolism. But until now, quoting, we did not know whether this deficit contributed directly to the cognitive symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. To proceed, a collaborative study has shown in a mouse model of Alzheimer's disease that a decrease in the use of glucose by astrocytes reduces L-serine production. Here we go. This amino acid is mainly produced by the brain cells and its biosynthesis path is altered in patients. L-serine is the precursor of D-serine known to stimulate NMDA receptors essential for brain function and to the establishment of memory. So by producing less L-serine, Astrocytes cause reduced activity in these receptors, which alters neuronal plasticity and the associated memorization capacities. Quoting, this is an important part here. Scientists have also demonstrated that memorization functions in mice were restored by supplying nutritional L-serine. Now keep in mind, we are working with an abstract and not the full study, so dosaging and Elements like that are going to be lacking in this particular video until we see the full study, then we can come back and visit it again and get that information to you. But now let's go look at the conclusion from the abstract, basically. And keep in mind, too, DOI citations would be linked so you can follow it straight to the study, or in this case, the abstract, and review on your own. But to proceed, our findings, quoting, reveal that astrocytic glycolysis controls cognitive functions and suggest oral L-serine as a ready-to-use therapy for Alzheimer's disease, end quote. Now I want to go back to basically the, uh, what we're looking at is in regard to ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, as follows. Supplementing diet with amino acid successfully staves off signs of ALS in preclinical study. The addition of dietary L-serine and naturally occurring amino acid necessary for the formation of proteins and nerve cells delayed the signs of ALS in an animal study. We'll have the links for that as well. I hope you find this information of use. Gratitude for always listening. Again, every single week we'll be here for you. And as always, without repeating too much, thank you. Catch you all next week. See you then. Bye.